Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my weekly TJ Maxx series where I go to TJ Maxx in Marshalls and show you guys the newest items that they have added to their makeup and beauty section. So I was a little bit worried. I wasn't finding a lot this week. I had to go a few times and I typically only like to go once because otherwise it just takes up like too much of my week. Um, because I have to drive like an hour there and an hour back and it kind of sucks. But we did finally find some really good things. And I'm so excited to show you guys what we found. And as always, I will have the comparative prices um, popping up when we find the items. And if it doesn't have a price, it means that either it was on the packaging or the item is discontinued and I could not find it. So, yes. Um, also, let me know, did you guys catch Jeffree Star's video this week? I did watch um, his little TJ Maxx full thing. I was a little bit nervous that he was doing this because I was like dang it like I was totally gonna do a full face TJ Maxx I didn't want people to think like I copied because I mentioned a couple videos back that I wanted to do one But um, I watched this video and he kind of gave TJ Maxx a little bit of a bad rep um, But I tr I just love TJ Maxx and I think the fun of it is honestly hunting for the products I like get this weird high from it. I know that's like so weird to say but like I love finding these amazing, amazing deals at TJ Maxx. You just never know what you're going to find and what's going to pop up there. So I just love it. I find a lot of good stuff at my TJ Maxx and nothing against Jeffrey's video at all. Um, he just picked up some of the more unpopular brands like Nicole Miller and all those like cheaper ones there and not so many high-end ones. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm still planning to do a full face TJ Maxx. Hopefully within the next week or so, I really want to do it because I have a lot of good stuff um, that I want to try out as well. So yes, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. So it looks like they have added some new shades of the Stila Shimmer and Glows. This one is in the shade Le Deuce, maybe a gold. There's a bunch of different ones here. This one is in the shade Twig. This one's a Shimmer and Glow. They also have this one in Jezebel right there. And this one is in the shade Grace. And by the way, these are $7.99. And then we also found Starlight. So a bunch of new shades, which is pretty awesome. Um, these are similar to the Glitter and Glows. They're just more of like a creamy eyeshadow, not as much glitter as the regular ones have. All right, so here's the shades of the Stila Shimmers. This one is Jezebel, so it's kind of like this really gorgeous rose gold. We have this really fun olive. This one was Le Deuce, I believe super fun and then we have this one is twig which is kind of a bronze and then we have this light champagne color called starlight so these are really pretty shades I don't think I'll be grabbing any just because I don't really need any more in my collection I've bought so many of these but these are really pretty colors just so be on the lookout for these and then I finally found all the new pixie goodies that everyone's been finding they have the ultimate beauty kit fifth edition face kit which looks like a huge palette this is pretty cool this one is going for $7.99 and then they also have this little one it's called lid lovelies I actually really like this color selection a really nice shade of like neutrals and stuff this one is for $7.99 as well and then they have these little mini palettes the mesmerizing mineral palettes um, this one is in plum quartz going for $3.99 that's an awesome deal they also have desert sunset I love that like pinky red color and then they do have this like opal glow highlighter kind of eyeshadow palette too and then <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff here they have this endless silky eye pen trio which has two well I guess three um, eyeliners this is going for $7.99 for that looks like they also have some MAC lip glosses the dazzle glass this one is in tangerine Tropicana or Tropica this one is $7.99 they also have another shade this one is in baby sparks this one is dressed to dazzle and then we got prancing dancing so four different ones there and then here is all the MAC Dazzle glasses that we found. This one is Baby Sparks, a really fun pink with shimmer. This one was Prancing Dancing. And then this is Tangerine Tropica. And then this like fun lavender gray almost is really fun. This one is Dressed to Dazzle. So I found a couple of BH Cosmetics palette. This one is the 20 color shadow palette. This actually looks really pretty. I'm loving the color selection. There's like a bright hot pink. There's this really pretty silver. 
looks really nice and this one is for $6.99 and I also found this one it's called the Marvy Corn possibly by Marvin Mag Magnificent possibly beach cosmetics um, ooh, look at that. That's super cute. This reminds me of like Lisa Frank. <laughs> but that is the colors, looks like highlighters and some fun eyeshadows. This one is $6.99. So I found some full size dry bar hair products here. They have this double standard cleansing conditioning foam. Pretty cool. This is going for $9.99. They also have the dry bar detox dry conditioner. This one is going for $9.99, and then they have a mini double standard as well for $4.99. And then they have this Mr. Incredible leave-in conditioner. This sounds kind of fun for $9.99. It says that you spray this in damp hair from mid-shaft to ends. I love leave-in conditioner, but I've never seen like one that is like a hairspray bottle. They have some cool Redken sets too. I really like Redken hair care. Um, this is the color Extend Magnetics Shampoo and Conditioner. And then this vinegar rinse with it too. It looks like maybe a holiday set. Maybe hopefully from last year for $19.99. And they also have this all soft one, which I really like. Um, the all soft shampoo, that, which comes with shampoo, conditioner, triple take 32. And then this little mini leave-in for it also $19.99. And then a couple other things I found. I found this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss in the shade Cosmic. Let's see what this looks like for $3.99, which is an amazing price. So this is Cosmic. It looks like a peachy pink. Really pretty. And I also found um, this Kevin Aquan product. I've been seeing some people find some more Kevin Aquan stuff at TJ Maxx. This is the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting, I think, in the shade Sunlight. And this is going for $14.99. Definitely will have to look up what this looks like. It seems like it might be too dark for me because I usually do like more pearlescent shades. And then I wanted to show you guys this. This is from Pacifica, the Dreamy Cover Bare Face Serum Foundation with SPF 20. This is going for $4.99. I saw recently that Pacifica came out with a new foundation that I've really been wanting to try. So maybe it's replacing this one. And then I did find two of the Stila Shimmer and Glow, some more shades. Um, they actually have a shimmer one that's in Kitten, which I didn't know that. Um, instead of the glitter. Let's see. So here is the Kitten Shimmer. Really pretty. Like I said earlier, I do prefer the glitters. And we also found this cute shade. I believe I have this one. It's called Cloud. And by the way, these are um, $7.99. Yeah, pretty sure I bought this one full price. It's a beautiful purpley like bronze with gold shimmer. Definitely pick this up if you guys see it because this color is so gorgeous. So that is Cloud. For some reason, my lighting changed, but I found this Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Moisturizer. Um, this one's going for $9.99 here. I love finding the Bare Minerals skincare. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from them, because I've noticed a lot of stuff here. Sorry about the alarm thing. Hopefully you can ignore it, but um, last week I picked up the Foxy Bay Hair Care, and I found their curling wand, too. Sorry, it's upside down. But um, here's the curling wand. It looks really nice. 32 millimeter rose gold wand. For, it looks like $39.99. Really pretty. Really like this wand and the color of it is so cute. 32 seems kind of big, but um, it's cool to find this here. I always like to check out the Ray Dunn section when I'm here too. I used to be like a really big collector, but now I kind of have like my main favorite pieces, so I don't really buy anymore unless I saw something rare, which is like never. <laughs> but they have this cute little cake stand that says Frosted, which is adorable. Then they have the spoon rest there. They have um, these little juicers too that say sour, which is pretty cute too. So just wanted to show you guys that in case you guys are collectors as well. This so Michael Kors bag is adorable too. I never really look at the prices that much, but this one's $119. I love the studs on this one, and it's a really nice size with the flap. Definitely adorable. Nice black basic bag. They have a lot of cute ones. This little guy too. This one is $129.99. I really like that one as well. I've been really wanting a new purse lately, but I'm trying to save as I'm really wanting a Givenchy Antigona or... A Louis Vuitton Crozette or a Gucci Marmont one. I know that's like a lot, but I'm trying to save my money for one of those just because I like 
to splurge on like one big bag instead of having a bunch of different ones but I can't decide which one I want and my birthday's like next week so we'll see well I guess it'll be this week when you're watching so I'm in the pots and pans section for some reason I just had an open space so I decided to come over here but I found this Becca multitasking perfecting powder in fair I've never even heard of this um, for $7.99 and then also I found this which I'm kind of debating to get it's on clearance so I'm kind of nervous that like it's been opened or returned before but it's from that Foxy Bay brand again and it's actually a straightening brush which I've always wanted one of these so it was on clearance for $29 and I really want to try it so I think I might buy it here's another BH Cosmetics palette seems like they're getting a lot of these this week um, I'm trying to read the name of this one. It's kind of weird. It's like IRA or something. Here is the colors. So it looks like you get bronzers, highlights, and then eyeshadows in here. So for some reason you have to slide the package out, but this one's going for $6.99. And then they have this sleek makeup kit, star of the show. It comes with a um, major matte liquid lipstick, this sleek makeup, what is this, mascara, and then this little baby palette. Look how small those are. This one is going for $5.99, and then I see something cool over here. This is from the BH and Sean XO palette. I used to have her original eyeshadow palette, but this is called the Remix. This says 18 colors. This looks really cool. I'm kind of interested in it. It's for $6.99. I don't know if I'm going to buy this, but I did want to show you guys the inside. Um, so it actually is like a double-sided palette. So here is the first shades, and then the other side opens up in these colors as well. So I was going to buy it, but now I'm like, I don't really need it. I'm kind of just buying to buy, so this week it's kind of nice to like not buy anything. <laughs> so I do think I might pass on this one just for now. This product I haven't seen before either from Algenist. It says Repairing Tint and Radiance Moisturizer. Um, I'm not sure if it has a shade or if it's just a general shade, but this is going for $7.99. Also, I found this Clinique Eyeliner. It says Quick Liner for Eyes Intense for $4.99 um, in the shade Intense Plum. So that's a pretty awesome as well. I think these are new from Algenist as well. The Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. For $19.99 there and then they also have this firming and lifting contouring eye cream too for $19.99 as well so those are a couple new skincare items so Marshalls has a bunch more of these pixie palettes I can't remember which ones I showed I think I showed opal by the way these were $3.99 um, I showed that TG Maxx they also have it desert sunset I think I showed that one and then this one is copper peach that one's really pretty I really like that and then we have a plum quartz. Sorry, the sticker is covering on that one. And then this one is mineral contour, like a nice smoky eye palette. So some really cute little palettes for $3.99. That's a really good deal. Okay, guys, an exciting find. Yes, I will line these all up so I can show you guys the colors. But these are new from Buxom. And I have not seen these until today. The lip top coats from Buxom. Full on plumping lip polish for $4.99. If my camera will focus. Yeah, so $4.99, and then these are all the different shades that they have. So there's Ariana, Iris, Mariah, Camilla, and then Crystal here. This one's probably my fave. Whoops. <laughs> this one's like a princess-like pink color. I think I want to get this one for sure. And then, yeah, there's like a bunch of different colors. I think we probably found most of them, but I've not even like seen these before or heard of them. But I'm guessing it's the same thing as their lip polishes, maybe just not as pigmented. So really cool find. I also found one of these older style Bare Minerals blushes. I think they still make these, but um, these came out before their Gen Nude ones, I believe they're called. Um, these are $5.99. This is the shade The One. So, it's like the perfect light baby pink. I'm actually really interested in this one, so I might go ahead and pick this one up, I think. So, I'm starting to find some cool stuff. Um, let me know if these are discontinued. I'll have to definitely look it up because the color is really pretty. So I'm at Marshalls, and this one has a pretty good selection. It's usually like pretty picked over, but I finally found more colors of the Too Faced Glitter Eyeliners, which is exciting. So we have I'm Half a Mermaid, and by the way, these are $4.99. We found Glitter Ghost last time, which I picked up, and then they have this Kitty Glitter. Adorable. <laughs> and then this one, let's see, Glitter Ghost. This one is Fairy Queen. Ooh, fun. I think that's all the shades they have right now, but super excited. I've been wanting to find these. For some reason, I could only find Glitter Ghost for the longest time. So I wanted to show you guys what the color's like in person. 
Um, so this one is the Fairy Queen. Then we have the Kitty Glitter and I'm Half Mermaid. Super cute colors. I think I'm going to pass on these for now. I really like the shade I got in Glitter Ghost. I think that one's probably going to be my most used one. I need to definitely try it out yet. But it is cool to find all these fun shades and at a really nice price. And then I did get a comment on my last video about like opening the packages. I just opened it to see the color because if I buy it, I'm going to open it anyway because people swatch stuff. But I do not swatch anything. I just like to show you guys the color so you guys can see what it looks like in person. But I won't like put my fingers on anything. Okay, I also want to show you guys this, which I was really shocked by. <laughs> but I picked up this illuminating bronzing powder and I was like, oh cool, a bronzer. It's in Antigua too just open it to see the color and it's pink so i guess <laughs> this is a blush this color looks beautiful like i really want this to be honest so i wonder if is that correct that's weird these are 14.99 yeah it's the right shade and everything so that's interesting i think i will pick this up i love pink blushes and i can't get enough so i think i'm gonna grab that the store really does have quite a bit of things, which it never really has this much, but they have a bunch of shades of the Evermap foundation, which I just picked up myself a couple weeks ago. Really enjoying it so far. So we have olive, buff, sand, and bamboo there. By the way, this one is $12.99 from Becca. Really good price on that. Um, just some of the stuff we've seen before, like Bare Minerals and stuff like that. Nothing like too amazing. They do have a bunch of these candlelight glows. Um, from Too Faced, too, if you guys are still looking for these, for $10.99. They have both shades there. They did organize nicely their <laughs> Urban Decay Vice stuff, so they have a few different shades there, which we've seen these all. These are $7.99, and they must have just got these in because there is a ton of them there. I still need to try the one I bought, but usually this is how their lip stuff looks, but that's decently organized for Marshalls. They do have this uh, Bare Minerals Buttercream Lipstick for $4.99 in the shade Controversy, which this honestly looks like a concealer. Like, what the heck? That does not even look like a good, nice lip shade, but whatever. I found one more. This one is in the shade Heaven. Oh, this one's much better. <laughs> a much better neutral color. That is Heaven. Uh, the last thing I need is more lipsticks, so I'll probably skip on these, even though I really want them. Um, you kind of have to dig in here to find things. It's so messy. Okay, I almost missed this because I didn't know that it was Bare Minerals. So it's a little, I've never seen this before. It's called Northern Lights. It must be from like one of their holiday collections. It has this fun confetti in it and it looks like it has a blush and a couple eyeshadows. This is $3.99. So yeah, it has three different colors in it. Interesting. Um, I think that's the only one it comes in. Yeah, I think that's the only one it comes in, but that's adorable. They also have, I just noticed, their Complexion Rescue from Bare Minerals, which I have not seen here yet. So, the packaging is a little beat up on that one. <laughs> Let's see if there's a better one. I remember, I used to work at Ulta when this came out. They made a big deal out of it. Um, this is $7.99. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer almost. So they have just the shade Desert there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys my haul. I didn't really buy hardly anything. There was a few things I kinda wish I did pick up. I ended up passing on a lot of stuff because I was like, I don't need it. Sometimes I just like want to buy it because it's such a good price, but then I have to like really think about it and see if I really need that in my collection. But um, I'll show you guys a few. I'll start with a few snack items I bought. I actually bought some snack items there that was by the checkout. I've never really bought like snack items from them so you guys will have to let me know if you guys have any favorites there but I see a lot of the same things there but I picked up this popcorn it's from the popcorn factory the white cheddar popcorn it looks really good I love cheddar popcorn so hoping that it tastes good as well and then they also had this mixture it's the corn fusion popcorn it has um, I believe caramel and cheddar in it which looks so good and then I also grabbed these guys. These looked really good. These are the Almond Cashew Pops with blueberries. These look amazing. They had a bunch of different flavors in these. So I hope I like the blueberry one, but I did want to grab that. And then I'll get into the makeup items. I really didn't buy a ton. There's a couple things I wish I picked up. I didn't end up buying that straightening brush. I'm still regretting that. But I looked at the reviews and they had really bad reviews. And I know it was such a good price though. So maybe it had bad reviews because they didn't think it was worth the $100. But I'm still kind of kicking myself for that. And also I didn't buy the Bobbi Brown blush and I really wish I did. I checked the next day and it was gone. 
so sad. Maybe we'll find it again. But I did get some other cool things. So, of course, I had to get one of these Buxom Lip Top Coats in Mariah. I just could not pass this up. It is such a gorgeous color. These were $4.99. Just check out this shade. I am in love. Such a pretty color. Oh, this is like almost like an opalescent color. That is really pretty. And it's very pigmented, actually. So, I guess it's one of those like lip color changers. And then I picked up this Bare Minerals blush in the shade The One. It just looks like the perfect pink blush. And I've been really bored with my blush collection lately and I've been wanting some new ones. So what better way to stock up your blush collection than getting it for a really good deal at TJ Maxx. So this is the one I picked up. It's very neutral. Here is a swatch. It swatches actually pretty sheer. Here it is on my hand, so I'll definitely have to test that one out. But I'm excited to have like a pink blush. Um, I always find the the Gen Nude blushes from them there, but it's always like peachy coral shades. So i um, excited to find a pink one. And then I did decide to go ahead and try one of these Pixie palettes. It was just a really good price. For $3.99, it was hard to pass up. This one was in Desert Sunset. Really pretty. I really was attracted to this bright like reddish I don't know what that would be, a reddish coral almost color in the palette. And it did have a couple mattes in there as well. Let me swatch these. Hopefully they swatch nice. I don't know what to expect from this. Oh, that's not too bad. That actually swatched really nicely. Um, I'll just swatch a couple shades, not go too crazy. Here is a few shades. They, so far, they swatch really nicely, and I definitely want to try this out on the eyes and see how it does, and if it is really good, I might have to pick up more. But anyways, that is everything I picked up at TJ Maxx this week. Let me know if you guys found anything exciting. I always love to hear your finds, and I will have the link to my TJ Maxx playlist down below if you guys want to see the stuff I've found in previous weeks. But that's going to be it for my video today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.